Hi there. Okay. Just trying to add someone else into the prayers to pray with me who's going to be praying. Uh, it doesn't seem to have worked. Okay. I was just trying to add Esther. If you're joining me, we are praying, uh, joining um, in with the UK National um, Day of Prayer. Uh, good afternoon. Um, uh, what, a, what a wonderful opportunity to join with churches and uh, fellow believers around the country praying for God to come and do something in this time. It's such an amazing time to be praying because there's so much to be praying for and believing God for in these moments. Um, I just wanted to uh, read this little section from Matthew 17, uh, Matthew 17, verse 20, Jesus speaking to his disciples. He, he replied, because you have so little faith, truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. It's an amazing promise. Um, Amazing promise to the saints of God that God has commissioned us, given us authority to pray with faith, to believe for impossible things um, to be done. And there are a lot of impossibilities that this nation is, is facing. And so um, I just want you to just increase your faith. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying as those that have been commissioned. We are praying as those who have been given authority to say to God's kingdom, come here on earth right now and, and we speak into the impossibilities. And so I just want you to just take a moment and, and, and just uh, centre yourself on the presence of God. And we're just going to worship Jesus for a moment. Lord, we just thank you now that you are here, now that you are present in this nation, you are present in this time with us. You promise to never leave us and never forsake us, but you are here right now, surrounding this nation. You are moving in this nation. And Lord, we worship you, we praise you. You are the king over this nation. And we just worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you that you are the king over this united kingdom. Amen. Um, please start writing your um, comments and your prayers into the uh, comment section. That'll be lovely as we join together to pray on this uh, day of national prayer. Um, I'm going to be praying for two specific things. I'm going to be praying uh, firstly for young people. Um, and so um, children and um, school age. And then I'm going to be moving into praying for um, our students across the nation, but also in Liverpool. And so feel free to put names, obviously not full names, but if you want to pray for a specific young person or a student, whack a name in the box um, and let's just be lifting Jesus high above this. So again, we are coming to God in faith, knowing that he's the God who steps into the impossible. And so what I want to specifically pray for, for both categories, is um, mental health and uh, into that whole area. So let's just do that. So Jesus, we thank you. We thank you that you're here now. Thank you that you hear our prayers. Thank you that we are praying uh, in faith. We are praying for you to step into these places uh, where everyone says it's impossible, God. We speak over our young people now. So all the children up to school age, Lord, we just ask, Lord, in this nation that you will move. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you will come and pour out your presence. We pray over schools, um, over this nation, God, that you will pour out your presence. Lord, that you will touch our teachers, that you will begin to speak in ways that you have never spoken before to young people across this nation. God, our heart breaks that our young people have seemingly turned away from your church. But God, we say now, Lord, let there be a move of your spirit across this land for every young person. Come and touch them now. We pray for dreams 
and uh, for, 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 um, for visions, for prophecies to speak forth over our young people's lives, God. We ask, Lord Jesus, specifically for the, um, the, uh, pe- the epidemic of uh, mental health issues and uh, uh, yeah, all of that, Lord. We just pray, Lord Jesus, that you will come and move. We speak protection over our young people, over their minds, over their hearts, over their lives. We speak protection from um, the, the media and uh, the, the sort of messages that they receive through magazines and online things. We speak protection over them from social media. Lord God, that you will protect their lives. Lord, um, I just ask, Lord, that you would speak into their lives to such a degree that they will realise that they are precious and loved and chosen by you. Lord, will you call us as a church to rise up, to love our young people, to serve them. Lord, to speak a message that is dynamic, the truth of your gospel that's relevant now as it has ever been. And we pray, Lord, for salvation over our young people. Lord, for those that are in the church, we ask that you would pour out your Holy Spirit. Lord, that you would set them on fire with a passion for your name, with a passion to love you and serve you, with a passion to know you and step into who, you, who you've called them to be. Lord God, we pray for our youth leaders across this nation. Lord, will you pour out your spirit on them? Lord, that they would begin to um, move into uh, a new time uh, where they would begin to see a new move of your Holy Spirit across youth groups and across, um, uh, yeah, across youth groups and across churches in this nation. Lord, we ask, Lord, for Liverpool in particular, that you will bring uh, greater, greater unity to our youth workers and all those that are serving young people in this in this place. Lord, will you cause a uh, uh, just a movement of prayer over our young people, Lord, in this nation, but also in this uh, in Liverpool across Merseyside. Father, we say, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done over our young people in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord, we do thank you for our youth workers and for our children worker. Uh, and Lord, for all of the volunteers, thank you for Jess and for Danny and for Emma. Lord, we bless them now in your name. Pour out your your spirit upon them. Lord, give them your ideas, your strategies, your plans. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So we're going to um, shift gears and we're going to begin to start to pray for our students. They're facing a, a really difficult time of uh, lockdowns, of facing um, time in their dorms alone with a Zoom conversation. Um, they are facing an unknown Christmas situation with all of the plans that are bubbling around how to get them home. So there's lots to pray for. So let's just speak now blessing over our students. Um, and again, if there's any first names you want to pop in there, you can begin to pray for a specific student. But Lord God, um, we we are just um, desperate, Lord, for your spirit to move in this nation over our students. Lord, uh, we are constantly being told that um, 0.1% of our students who come to university know you and are Christians, identify as Christians. And Lord, that is just an astronomical number and it breaks our heart and it breaks yours. So Lord, now we speak by faith over our student population across this United Kingdom. We say, Lord, let there be a move of your spirit over them now. We pray, Lord God, that you would call them by name, that they would be drawn to you, that they would hear the message of salvation freely given by the blood of Jesus, by his uh, cross, by your resurrection. Lord, we say, uh, empower your church to speak boldly the gospel. Lord God, that we would speak to our students and not just give them nice things or nice ideas, but we would speak with boldness the message that transforms, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray over their, their mental health, Lord, as they are locked in rooms, uh, on Zoom uh, uh, Zoom conversations, Lord, where they were told that they were going to have face-to-face lectures. It must be so disappointing, Lord. And um, it's such a an upheaval of a time, uh, being a first-year student particularly. So we pray, Lord, your blessing upon them. 
We pray, Lord God, that you would pour out your spirit upon dorms and across, uh, on houses across campuses right now in the name of Jesus. We say, let your spirit be poured out. We release your presence over universities now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask for divine encounters, for your angels to be released, for dreams and um, visions to happen to our students, that they would begin to wake up to the fact that you are here, that you love them, that you've called them by name, that you have made a way for them to come home to the Father. Lord, we pray um, for healing over um, the epidemic of mental health issues over our students. Lord, pour out healing now. We've heard of so many students that have lost their lives due to um, mental health issues and, and suicide. God, it grieves us. It breaks our heart, Lord. And we pray for these young people. Lord, will you bless them? Will you touch them? Will you encounter them now, Jesus, we pray. And we pray, Lord, for universities across this nation. Lord, we pray, move by your Holy Spirit. Move by your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray for um, student workers and um, uh, people that are working with students. We just bless them in your name. We pray for our Esther. We pray your blessing upon her. Pour out your spirit over her. We pray for our current students, God, that you will move, that you will bless them. Um, and we pray, Lord, for all of the plans to get them home at Christmas. We pray, Lord, for wisdom over our government, for the right strategy. Lord, that it wouldn't spread coronavirus across the nation, but uh, they would enable this to stop now. And uh, we pray blessing upon the, the, um, the Christmas break and the term ahead. Lord, we pray will you draw close to our students now in your name. I just want to end um, just to let you know that we are continuing to pray um, over the nation, joining with churches from across this uh, great nation. Um, and we are praying again this evening at 7.30. Please join us. If you are watching this later, please comment, please put your prayers in um, because uh, prayer transcends all time, doesn't it? Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I pray your blessing upon uh, Frontline family and those who are watching now. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you guys.